Hello and welcome to the classroom. My name is Miss Kathy and this is Sue and we are so glad that you joined us. Today's letter of the day is going to be letter H for community helper Sue. I like your glasses. Did you go to the eye doctor? Is that where you got those glasses? Well, did you know that an eye doctor is a community helper? Along with a doctor and a dentist and a police officer and a firefighter and a librarian and a veterinarian. <laughs> there are so many community helpers all around us in our cities and our neighborhoods. That's what we're going to talk about today. But first, we have to be a helper. We have to feed Fred. That's our class job. So will you help me feed Fred right now? Hi, Fred the fish. Here's some fish food for you. Thank you, helper. Well, now that we have fed Fred, let's turn around and see what day it is. The month is August. And let's reach into our can and see how we're going to count the numbers. It says hammer. So a community helper is someone who helps like a builder or a construction worker. They use a hammer to build buildings or houses or apartments. So let's hammer as we count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Today is August 23rd. Can you say today's date? August 23rd. If you want to know what day of the week it is, you've got to go up to the top. These are the days of the week. Today's day starts with W and it's right in the middle. W sounds like this, ooh, 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 as in wake up. So what day of the week starts with that sound? Hmm, ooh, ooh, ooh. Wednesday, very good. Look outside your window and see what your weather is like today. So check it out, look and see. Okay, are you ready to sing about your weather? When I do like this with my microphone, you can shout out whatever your weather is. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? It is it is it is out today it is it is it is out today well let's dress weather bear weather bear we're going to put on some shorts for you and a t-shirt and what is the season right now? Look at the window. Hmm, it looks like summer to me. Let me show you Weather Bear's other windows. So that's summer. And this is the window that shows fall, winter, and spring. Those are the four seasons. And right now we're in summer. Well, that was our calendar and weather time. And now it's time for... Our letter of the day. Today's letter is H. Can you say H? If your name has letter H, stand up. I do. If your name has letter H, stand up. If your name has letter H, if your name has letter H, if your name has letter H, has letter H stand up. Well, this is letter H, and today H is for community helpers. Community helpers are happy to help you. 
So today we put happy faces on our letter H. That's how we decorate it. Now if you have happy face stickers, that would be perfect. But if you don't have any happy face stickers, you can just draw happy faces like I did. So now we can recognize letter H. So next we'll practice writing it. To write a letter H, we're going to make a line that comes down like this. Down. We're going to move over and we're going to make another line that comes down. And then we're going to make a line in the middle like that. So down, down, and across. That's how you make letter H. Now you can use your own paper or you can use handwriting paper or you can just decorate letter H if that's what you need to do. But if you're ready to write, here's how you make an H. Down, down, and across. Down, down, and across. This is a big letter H, uppercase, capital. So that means we're going to make this H upstairs and downstairs. Down, down, and across. Down, down, and across. So that is big letter H. And now I'm going to show you little h. Every letter has two, a big and a little letter. And here is little h. We make a line that comes down, and then we just hop over. So it kind of looks like a number one. Just so make a number one and then hop over. One hop. One hop. Let's practice writing little h. Start upstairs. This is a teenager letter. It's going to go upstairs. Then it's going to come downstairs and it's going to hop downstairs. Normally our little letters stay downstairs, but remember sometimes those teenager letters can go upstairs or even hang out in the basement. This one goes upstairs and then we're going to hop over downstairs. One, hop, one, hop, hop over, one, hop, one, hop, one hop. <laughs> Good job. Well, I know you did a great job listening and learning, and I hope that you'll practice writing your letter H. I'm going to give you a sticker for your handwriting paper and cheer for you. Good job, everyone. Well, now we know what H looks like. We know how to write it. So next, we're going to talk about the sound that it makes. Letter H makes this sound. <sighs> you try. It sounds like me when I've been running and I'm breathing really hard. So let's do that right now. Let's stand and you can run, run, run as fast as you can. But when I say come back, come back and sit down and we'll listen and see how we're breathing. All right, ready, get set, run, 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 run. Run everybody, run as fast as you can. Run, run, run. Faster, faster, faster. Okay, come back and let's see how we're breathing. <sighs> that was a lot of running. And letter H says, <sighs> like when you've been running and breathing really hard. <laughs> and that's our hand motion for letter H. Every letter has a hand motion. So you can do like this. Letter H says, ah, 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 like when you're running and breathing hard. Well, that was our letter time for today, and now it's time for math. And this week, we are working on the number two. I'm going to use shaving cream to write the number two. A barber is a community helper. A barber is someone who cuts hair and also can sh give a man a shave with shaving cream. So we're going to be barbers and we're going to practice number two. You can take a little bit of shaving cream and put it on the table in front of you and then spread it out like this. This is a great way to practice number two instead of just writing it, but you can just write it on your paper if you don't have any shaving cream, that's okay. 
So here's how you make number two. Make a rainbow, slide down, and then align back out like that. So the great thing about this shaving cream is you can erase it and you can practice again. Rainbow, slide down and out. That's how you make number two. Let me show you again. Erase it. Rainbow, slide and out. Let's draw two things, maybe two dots, okay? So here's a dot. One and two. So how many dots? One, two. So let's write number two one more time. Rainbow, slide and out. That's number two. Well, it's time for us to clean up this board and let's practice the shape that we have been working on this week and the color. We've been working on a square, learning what a square is. And I have a square right here. It's a wooden block. And a construction worker is a community helper. And a construction worker builds houses or apartments or buildings with wood. And so I have a wooden block. And I actually took this wooden block and I dipped it into some blue paint and I stamped some squares on some paper. Blue because this week our color is blue. B-L-U-E spells blue. B-L-U-E spells blue. Hi ho, did you know? B-L-U-E spells blue. And I made blue squares with a wooden block like a construction worker. A square has four sides, one, two, three, four, and they're all the same size. Well, it is time for us to do something fun for our social studies. We're going to guess the community helper. So let me show you some pictures and you see if you can tell me who this is. Okay, so who is this? It's a mail carrier. And how does a mail carrier help us? That's right, a mail carrier brings mail to your home. Who is this? A doctor. How does a doctor help us? That's good, a doctor helps us feel better when we're sick. Who is this? Firefighter. And how does a firefighter help? Good, puts out the fire, sprays the water, puts out the fire. Who is this? Police officer. How does a police officer help us? Police officer helps to keep us safe. Who is this? Look what she's holding. This is a dentist. A dentist helps to make sure our teeth are healthy and clean. Who is this? A teacher. How does a teacher help us? A teacher helps us learn. Who is this? A mechanic. A mechanic fixes cars when they're broken. Who are they? Construction workers or builders. How do they help us? They build things, right? Like houses or apartments or buildings or stores. Who is this? This is a veterinarian or vet for short. This is someone who takes care of pets and makes sure they're healthy and well. Who is this? She's holding books and look behind her. Shelves and shelves of books. This is a librarian. A librarian helps us find a book that we're looking for at the library. She also might read a story to us. Maybe there's a story time at your library. Well, all of those were community helpers and there are many, many more. A community helper is just someone who lives near you in your city or town and helps you in some way. 
Well, it is time for us to go to art. We are going to do something really fun and unusual for art today. Let's go. Well, remember when we looked at the slides, we saw a dentist. A dentist is a community helper that helps to take care of our teeth. Well, I'm using an old toothbrush today. I only use this for arts and crafts. I'm going to actually paint with the toothbrush today. So I'm just going to dip it into some paint. And I think I might make a rainbow. Oh, wow. Look at this. Do you know you could paint with a toothbrush? I have some water here, so I'll rinse out my toothbrush. And I'm going to get another color. This is fun. It's fun to paint with a toothbrush. I'm making a rainbow, but you can make anything you wanted to make. I'll rinse and I'll get another color. Okay, that's pretty neat. I think I'll use orange next. Well, there you have it. We painted with a toothbrush today. A community helper, which is a dentist, uses a toothbrush and other things to keep our teeth healthy and clean. Well, here is my rainbow painting, and you can do anything you want. You don't have to make a rainbow. You can design any kind of picture you'd like. You can use your toothbrush, your old toothbrush, for painting. And now it's time for a story. For story time, we're going to read the book Officer Buckle and Gloria by Peggy Rathman. Officer Buckle is a police officer and he's a community helper. Officer Buckle knew more safety tips than anyone else in Napville. Every time he thought of a new one, he thumbtacked it to his bulletin board. Safety tip number 77, never stand on a swivel chair. Officer Buckle shared his safety tips with the students at Natville School. Nobody ever listened. Sometimes there was snoring. Afterward, it was business as usual. Mrs. Topple, the principal, took down the welcome banner. Never stand on a swivel chair, said Officer Buckle, but Mrs. Topple didn't hear him. Then one day, Natville's police department bought a police dog named Gloria. When it was time for Officer Buckle to give the safety speech at the school, Gloria went along. Children, this is Gloria, announced Officer Buckle. Gloria obeys my commands. Gloria, sit. And Gloria sat. Officer Buckle gave safety tip number one. Keep your shoelaces tied. The children sat up and stared. Officer Buckle checked to see if Gloria was sitting at attention. She was. Safety tip number two, said Officer Buckle. Always wipe up spills before someone slips and falls. The children's eyes popped. Officer Buckle checked on Gloria again. Good dog, he said. Officer Buckle thought of a safety tip he had discovered that morning. Never leave a thumbtack where you might sit on it. The audience roared. Officer Buckle grinned. He said the rest of the tips with plenty of expression. The children clapped their hands and cheered. Some of them laughed until they cried. Officer Buckle was surprised. He had never noticed how funny safety tips could be. After this safety speech, there wasn't a single accident. The next day, an enormous envelope arrived at the police station. It was stuffed with thank you letters from the students at Natville School. Every letter had a drawing of Gloria on it. Officer Buckle thought the drawings showed a lot of imagination. His favorite letter was written on a star-shaped piece of paper. It said, You and Gloria make a good team. Your friend, Claire. P.S. I always wear a crash helmet. Safety tip number seven. Officer Buckle was thumbtacking Claire's letter to his bulletin board when the phone started ringing. Freight schools, high schools, and daycare centers were calling about the safety speech. Officer Buckle, they said, our students want to hear your safety tips, and please bring along that police dog. Officer Buckle told his safety tips to 313 schools. Everywhere he and Gloria went, children sat up and listened. 
After every speech, Officer Buckle took Gloria out for ice cream. Officer Buckle loved having a buddy. Then one day, a television news team videotaped Officer Buckle in the State College Auditorium. When he finished safety tip number 99, do not go swimming during electrical storms, the students jumped to their feet and applauded. Bravo, bravo, they cheered. Officer Buckle bowed again and again. That night, Officer Buckle watched himself on the 10 o'clock news. <gasps> He was surprised when he saw what was happening behind him. The next day, the principal of Knapville School telephoned the police station. Good morning, Officer Buckle. It's time for our safety speech. Officer Buckle frowned. I'm not giving any more speeches. Nobody looks at me anyway. Oh, said Miss Topple. Well, how about Gloria? Could she come? Someone else from the police station gave Gloria a ride to the school. Gloria sat on stage looking lonely. Then she fell asleep. So did the audience. After Gloria left, Knapville School had its biggest accident ever. It started with a puddle of banana pudding. Splat, splatter, splush. Everyone slid smack into Mrs. Topple, who screamed, Oh, and let go of her hammer. The next morning, a pile of letters arrived at the police station. Every letter had a drawing of the accident. Officer Buckle was shocked. At the bottom of the pile was a note written on a paper star. Officer Buckle smiled. The note said, Gloria missed you yesterday. Your friend, Claire. P.S. Don't worry. I was wearing my helmet. Safety tip number seven. Gloria gave Officer Buckle a big kiss on the nose. Officer Buckle gave Gloria a nice pat on the back. Then Officer Buckle thought of his best safety tip yet. Safety tip number 101. Always stick with your buddy. The end. <laughs> well, Officer Buckle and Gloria were community helpers, weren't they? And I hope you've had some fun today learning about H is for helpers. I'll see you next time. Tomorrow, I is for insects. Goodbye. Have a great rest of your day.